Hello, hello, hello everyone. How is everybody doing today? We are doing just fine. I wanted to jump on real quick, throw up a, a quick video. This, so this will be episode number five of my daughter Kelly's um, anxiety, depression, and panic attack journey that she's on. Um, this update will be for the week will be for last week. So it'll today is today is Monday the 22nd. So this will be Monday the 15th through Sunday the 21st. And cross your fingers, not getting our hopes up. We still are waiting for um, uh, some testing to come back. We still have some more doctors that we need to see. Um, but it was it was a it was a much better week. It, it really, really was. Um, I have this little anxiety tracker that I found in one of my sticker books and I'm gonna do it. So, uh, my daughter Callie suffers from anxiety and uh, panic attacks and, um, and depression. Um, it is a gene mutation. We come to find out she actually has three gene muta mutations that um, kind of contribute to um, to those those illnesses. So um, I think she feels better that she's not crazy. You know what I mean? Although it is a a, a mental physical type of thing. So, uh, we had her genetically tested. That's how we found out about the gene mutation. She has been at the very beginning of her doctors. We are still waiting. Let's cross our fingers that it comes in today for one more test to come back. It's a pharmacogenetics uh, test. Basically, it will tell us um, which medications will work okay on her and which ones that she needs to stay away from. So let's cross our fingers that, um, that we, we hear from that pretty soon. But so, um, let's see. Um, she had one, she only had one attack that I know of. Now she does say that on most days, um, so this type of an attack is an outward attack that, that I can see. She struggles on a daily basis to, um, to manage the internal attacks and the, the anxiousness and the anxiety. So, so when I say that she only had one, she only had one that she came to me, the tears were flowing, the racing thoughts were happening and um but as it stands right now it's a it's a daily struggle kind of for her so um on monday the 15th she had a good day um she had a positive attitude she did get a uh, a small part-time job in our local town which is great i think that is really going to um to help her get her out of the house get her mind occupied she did go see her uh um, her chiropractor so she had a good adjustment kind of talked to her about some um, holistic things to to work on she did have an appointment with a uh, now she's been seeing a therapist since she was 12 but she has um, she did have an appointment um, with a licensed psychologist um, who is able to manage medications and all that other stuff. And she actually agreed with Callie that she should not in any way, shape or form, uh, kind of alter her medications right now until we have all of the, all of the, the uh, medical tests back that we need. So, um, I was very, very glad to hear that, that we, they weren't just, um, you know, um, pushing medications on her. On Tuesday the 16th, we had an appointment with her regular physician. Um, didn't go as well as expected. Um, she, I think her expectations, now he's just a, he's a small town doctor. I mean, he's very, he's been doing it for a long time. I trust him with everything. He has saved my life on more than one occasion. But I think she was looking for that definitive answer 
and I think that's what brought on that um, that panic attack. But she has been um, she has been taking her uh, 10x vitamins every single day. Um, she has been taking her regular uh, fixer and her pro propagonol. Um, she did start going to the gym, and I think she's been going almost every single day, which is uh, amazing. So she is making progress. We are looking at. Um, what she's eating she's eating much better so um on this day i didn't write down what she eats so on monday we had chicken fajitas wednesday we had brussels sprouts and meatloaf um i think last wednesday was one of the best days that she that she had um on thursday she had um uh, like eggs and yogurt in the morning, which is great. She started working at um, the local, it's kind of like a brewery coffee house um, down the street. Um, I think she is getting a little anxious about not having this pharmaco test back yet. Um, on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, she went out with a very, very, well, it's her best friend here in South Dakota, which I'm very, very glad that she is not just keeping herself kind of, you know, just caught up in her room and not talking. And the good part about it is that she is talking about it, which is amazing. So um, Friday, we had uh, beef and broccoli, homemade, delicious. Watch my meal plans uh, videos, and I will put that up. It was amazing. Um, Saturday, again, in a great mood. She didn't work out Saturday. She did not work out Sunday. I have noticed that she's journaling every day, which I think is helping her a lot. She's, she's now that she's home, so this is the second full week that she's home. She's starting to be consistent about her journaling, about her workouts, about getting up at the same time every day. And I think that is having a very profound effect on her mood. Um, I... And we were actually, before she went to the gym today, today's Monday, the 22nd, we were actually talking a little bit about this. She's going to have to, I think for the rest of her life, she is going to have to think think things through. Um, she before, she before she does any big major changes, she has to do them in smaller steps and say, if I do this, what is the outcome? It, you know what I mean? The more I think about this, what is the outcome gonna gonna be and how anxious am I gonna be about it? So I think she just needs to get her mindset a little bit more on what her future um, is going to um, is gonna look like. Um, I'm hoping that the vitamins that she's taking right now is helping. I would like to redo blood test again in about three months. They do say to give um, about 12 weeks for these these um, vitamins to be able to get your levels where they need to be um, and sustain them there. But I think with the working out is helping her with, with uh, dopamine levels. I think the um, eating right, she's being, she's, she wasn't a horrible eater to begin with. She's just... She's just very sensitive on a chemical on a chemical basis. So, so I can report as of Monday the fifteenth to the twenty first. I think everything that we're doing is um, is helping her. Uh, now it's going to be a different story. She ain't living at home forever. I mean, at some particular point, she's going to have to go out. She's going to have to get a big girl job. Um, I mean, she has two degrees and a minor. I mean, she's going to have to start to put those to work. So there are going to be some huge changes. But I think what we're finding now is what's working for her, what's not working for her. Whatever is working for her, she needs to be able to, stay, to sustain that and keep that consistent in her life no matter what she does and no matter what type of changes that she goes through. Um, we are looking into having her, having her do a sleep study because she sleeps like crap. Number one, she can't sleep without medication, which bothers the hell out of me. Because even on that medication, she can't get into a really good REM sleep. Um, so we're looking at um, um, having her do a sleep study. That's next on my list. She does have an appointment. 
um, the first week in August with her OBGYN. We're going to do a hormone panel, um, estrogen, progestogen, and um, testosterone, and kind of see where those are at. We think that they're all out of whack. I, I can just about guarantee you that they're that they are probably out of whack and that's not helping things at all so anyway I just wanted to get on real quick give everybody an update so the 15th to the 21st was a better week uh, nothing is in stone we still have some you know to road to cover we still have some testing that we needs to be that needs to be done to be honest with you I don't think that we are ever I don't want to say ever I don't think that we are going to see any type of um, progressive, consistent routines or definitive answers until the end of the year. Um, that's what we're kind of banking on um, right now. And then at that point, it's going to be okay. This is what's going to this is what's going to happen. So I think it's going to be a combination of what she's eating, the vitamins that she's taking, um, her hormones. <clears throat> excuse me her hormones and take a drink of water um yes some of the we were hoping to maybe get her off medication altogether i don't think that that's going to happen although i think we are going to really tweak it down to what she to what she's using <clears throat> excuse me my throat just got really really dry um and um and it 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 is going to be that that mental I mean she suffered some trauma going through all of these panic attacks and now she's she has a lot of fear so it's just going to be a matter of what can we do on the mind side we're working on the body she's working on her soul but what can we do on the mind side to be able to calm that fear a little bit and and um not have it be so prevalent in her life so it is going to be a process. It is going to be a long, long process for now. And then at that point, it, she's just going to have to manage it. Um, that's just really what it's going to have to come down to. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to jump on real quick, do a quick video, quick update about where we are. We're hoping that this week that, um, that we get back the results of those tests. Um, and, uh, and we'll see what else it brings. But thank you very much for following along. I hope this information is being helpful to somebody out there who is um, suffering um, from, from these same debilitating um, chemical imbalances. Uh, and uh, like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, share with family and friends and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.